So guys, I just wanted to show you something, right? I just got my uh, my beard done. It's the first time I've ever done this in, in a hairdresser's. Oh, it's been a long time, got it styled. Eight pounds this cost me, right? Which I think is a bargain. And I gave the lady a five pound tip because she, she did a 10 out of 10 job. Now, I want to touch on this because over the years, I get loads of messages from you, you know, about guys saying they're insecure about their looks. You know, they're insecure women, they're insecure people, they're insecure themselves. And you guys don't realize, a lot of men don't realize that making these subtle little changes in your appearance can totally transform your looks, how you feel and so forth. And the reason why things like, you know, getting your hair cut or, or shortened or styled and, and just trimming, because because actually my beard looked pretty good before this, right? But this looks 10 times better because it was quite bushy. It was a bit on the scruffy side. So a subtle little change just that see this is where sometimes guys have got the wrong attitude where they say things like oh you know i can't get a girlfriend i can't get a relationship because because of my looks but usually it's, it's not because of your looks it's because of your attitude it's down to you to keep yourself tidy and look after yourself so when i think about the price for eight pounds that's worth it because you're going to spend eight pound on two train uh, train fares pretty much right a little bit less or a takeaway meal, or a couple of beers, it's done. Whereas investing eight or 10 or a couple of more pounds in, in your grooming, it's gonna make such a difference. Now, I just wanna to touch on as well, this is not just about to impress other people, right? Let's say you're going for a job interview and you, got, and you look scruffy. They're, they're, you're probably not gonna get the job. So it is very important to get these basic fundamentals at, at any age. I, I think especially, actually at any age. And a lot of guys neglect this, I know they do, I see it. And, and I used to be like this as well when I was younger, I was a bit ignorant, a bit stubborn, didn't wanna go the extra mile. But it just takes a couple more minutes. You're gonna spend that money, you know, the amount of money you're gonna waste on things that have got no value, junk food, alcohol, like I said, may, may, whatever ever you're spending it on, right? Some people spend it on what they're going to spend it on. So it's just, it's a little subtle change, but it makes a whole difference to your appearance because I, I look like a different person um, just with it, with this change and, you know, keeping your hair short. So, you know, I, I really want to emphasize this because, you know, again, you can tell a lot of guys the right thing to do, but will they take the advice? Will they be stubborn? And I think that's how you improve in life, guys. That's how you improve your confidence, you know, your whole, you know, your whole as a person in life in general by taking advice sometimes from people and applying the advice. And like I said, it's just a little bit of effort, a subtle change. And I know it's the same, you know. If I see a guy, if I see a woman who's made an effort in their fashion or with their hair or with their grooming, I look at that and I think, oh, I appreciate that. that, they look great. Instead of what doing what most people do today is they get jealous of other people if they look good uh, because they're insecure, but you can work on yourself. You don't have to be jealous of other people and a subtle change can make a difference. Now, I wanna add a little bit more, right? Because obviously getting your beard trim is not the be and end all of how to improve in life, but it's just, it's just a little demonstration of how a good attitude can make a difference. Now, for me personally as well, if I can add to how you can get over your insecurities as a man and feel more confident on the inside and the outside, the boxing training or, or training in general, and I wanted to make an example. Now, if you're overweight, and I was like that in the second, actually all the lockdowns I was overweight, I had a double chin, big belly. Now, I've lost all the weight now. I feel fantastic. I'm in great shape because I put in two or three months of consistent hard training down the boxing gym, lost all that fat on my face, I don't have a double chin. Now my, you know, my, it's just, I'm not just talking about myself in general for men. We look better looking when we don't have a double chin. It's just a fact, guys, let's be honest. When you, you know, you've got more of a, a jawline and you feel better as well, it's healthy. And, and I've lost the belly, I'm slimmer, I'm fitter. So that's why I put the videos out as well, not to show off, a, to inspire, to show, to, to lead by example. And the subtle changes, if I, if I, at some point I'll edit a video, I'll show you how I looked a year ago and how I look now. And I look way better. It's just obvious, right? And that's because I've cut my hair shorter, right? 
I've also accepted that I'm losing my hair. I'm totally fine with it. Much more fine than I was. I've groomed my beard. I've lost weight everywhere on my face. I've got rid of double chin, got rid of the belly. And I'm fitter, more vibrant. And I actually, you know, some of you say, I look younger now than when I did 10 years ago. How have I done it? It's because I've done those things that I've said. I've lost weight. I've got in shape. I've groomed my hair. Any guy can do this. You know, I did this in a matter of two, three months. Completely changed obviously, you know, got a new jacket. And a lot of guys are in the mindset that, oh, I can't be bothered to make the effort, you know. It's going to be too stressful. But it's the other way around. Sometimes it takes, it takes more energy, more stress, not making the effort to make yourself um, better. And I think a lot of guys will come up with this bullshit excuse and they'll say things like, oh, I don't want to be shallow. I don't want to be egotistical because I don't want to live in a world like that. But I understand that and I, I agree on that on a lot of levels. I, I don't, I'm not into fakeness and people being obsessed with themselves, but there is a balance where that's a bullshit story because if you let yourself down and you don't respect yourself and you look scruffy and you don't take care of yourself, people are not going to respect you. You're probably not going to get a job. You're not going to get a relationship and you're not going to feel good. So you should take care of yourself. I was always brought up like that. And that's not just an outside thing, that's an inside thing as, as much as an outside thing. So that's just the rationalization. You're picking at something that has some truth in it and you're using it as a poor excuse as to why you don't want to go the extra mile, make the effort. Um, so for any guy out there who's insecure about his looks and his appearance, first thing I'd say is join the boxing gym. Or if you don't want to do boxing, join any fitness gym, train three times a week, improve your diet, socialize more, get your grooming right and the grooming let's just start with a facial grooming right now grooming can for some guys can mean to shave all their head right for guys that might be losing more of their hair and that can obviously look really good you see many many people doing that you see tyson fury um with a shaven head you can shave all your hair off right and then you could take your beard down close like i've got it or to the level you want, and that can look really good when, when you've got a bald head and you've got a nice, clean, style, shaven beard. Or you can take all the beard off and all your hair off, or if you've obviously got hair, you can cut your hair down. Or some people will have a beard where the beard's thick, it's big, but it's all neat, it's styled, and it, and it looks great. So that's the first part of grooming, obviously, on the face. And just doing that, can immediately make you look better looking and bring out your features more, bring out more of your attractiveness, your personality. And these are just, it doesn't take a rocket science um, to, for you to understand this. And I think sometimes guys are asleep, they're unconscious, they're completely asleep. Like they don't even know about this. I'm trying to educate, I'm really trying to help you out because um, I went for a stage when I was younger as well of being ignorant, not taking enough pride in my appearance and just kind of being having a bad attitude actually towards towards myself so you guys keep asking me about oh can you talk about self-love and make videos on it this is self-love getting the basics right if you can't get the basics right how are you going to move on and do great things in your life and of course of course women are going to judge a judge a man on his appearance of course they're going to be more attracted to a guy who looks tidier looks smarter you can't blame them and men do the same you do the same when, when you um, uh, are judging women. You, you, you base it a lot of it on looks. Unless you've got some experience and maturity and you really are interested in not just how a woman looks, but personality, character, values, attitude, and, and, and so forth. So you can't have the blame game. I mean, if you do that, you're just going to get nowhere in life. So like I said, the, the, the real surface stuff, which you can go and do now, it takes about 15, 20 minutes. You can go to the hairdressers now and get your hair cut and groom your beard. In terms of obviously the weight loss and getting in shape, that's going to take several months, but that's worth it. That's why I put the videos out to show you that I've done it successfully. Any guy can do it. Any guy can. That, that's a great thing, right? Why men are lucky. You can always improve yourself in, in your 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s. You can lose weight. You can build muscle. You can get in shape. You can style your hair. And, you know, most of this advice, right, any of you have had a girlfriend or relationship, your girlfriend would have told you this. You know, usually girlfriends are great at encouraging. Most guys who are, are in love have a girlfriend. They will start improving because their girlfriend will encourage them to dress better, take care. Now, obviously, um, 
that's the out that's what I'd call outer confidence like you know the clothes you wear how you have your hair how you groom but inner confidence obviously is developed through personal discipline through boxing training boxing although it improves your out physique spiritually it transforms you as a person and obviously socializing with positive people being positive so these fundamentally this is how a guy will improve his looks his attractiveness and not just his outer looks his inner looks and if you're one of those guys who keeps attacking you know oh it's just about looks your attitude wrong because it's not just about looks now a counter argument you can you get the situations where you get guys that look really good looking right they're fantastic they have a nice haircut tan groom muscles but they don't work on themselves inside so they're very into although they look good outside and they get attention from women and from people they've not worked on themselves on the inside and that's not good obviously if you want to move forward because your looks is only going to get you so far in life your beard your grooming so i would heavily encourage to do the inner work and i've spent most of my the last 15 years doing all the inner work i've only just started you know adventuring on you know the beard the grooming the haircuts and, and things like that and that's a lot of fun so that cannot be neglected so that's my counter argument for guys who say oh i don't want to be a shallow guy i don't want to be a guy that checks his hair in the mirror and, and you're taking something and you're and you're exaggerating it to suit your poor narrative which is your you know complaining that you're not succeeding in life so i don't just see this as something that you do to be more desirable and attractive to women although it is I see this as as a, as a as a as a whole in life, you know, to to make friends, to improve your career, to show up better in the world. And I think anybody who's got a problem with that needs to really question question their thinking. And I would even we will talk about mental health in this channel. This improves mental health because when I when I was going through mental health problems. I didn't feel good, obviously, and I didn't look good because I started to neglect my grooming. That's part of not being well. So it's a sign of good mental health when you see a guy or a woman who looks smart, who's positive, who's happy. So that's why I'm talking about all these things on this channel, to help you to move forward, build your confidence. And, and they're things that anyone can do. No one can say to me, I can't do that. Unless there's, you know, you've got a health condition which stops you. But in most cases, all of you can do this. You can make these changes in a matter of six months or even, even a bit less. And if you're already in shape, then great. You haven't got to do that. You've only just got to do it. So, yes, guys, by all means, don't just be an egotistical person who is self-obsessed with their image, their looks, because that will only get you so far. Work on you, work on you, work on you, on on you, yourself inside, work on being a better person. And, and that's about also how you conduct yourself uh, with other people having a good attitude. You go very far in life, in any, in any walk of life, and everything will improve. And this ties in with social anxiety as well, it helps you, right? Enough said, I'll talk more on this. Like, share, subscribe. Let me know in the box below if this video was helpful for you, all right? Become fearless.